Hello, and welcome to the September 2014 WebEx training on Fiscal Year Review and Update. My name is Mandy Essel, and I'll be the host for this training. In this presentation, we'll cover FY 2014 achievements, FY 2015 goals, updates to our service area, changes to students receiving wallet cards, and I'll give you information on how you can receive credit for attending today. In FY 2014, we had a DUR, or volunteer utilization rate, of 29%. That means that 29% of our community classes were taught by volunteer instructors. We had an average of 8.5 students per class and a total enrollment of 257,135 students in our classes. If you remember, October 2014, we went to using digital certifications and instructors started calling in community classes to the training support center after they taught a community class. We also released two new programs, Advanced Child Care and Teen First Aid Exercises. These courses are self-study, and if you'd like more information about how you can teach them, you can watch our YouTube training presentations and also talk to your training specialist. As I mentioned before, instructors now call the Training Support Center to close out classes. But in 2014, we also started hosting instructor light trainings, which allow instructors to close out classes on the computer without calling training support. If you've not taken trainings on this, please contact your training specialist for the schedule of upcoming training dates. At the end of Fiscal Year 14, we released changes to the unconscious choking skill. All instructors should have updated their manuals by now, but if you've not, you can access the update and information about the changes on Instructors Corner or www.instructorscorner.org. If you're an instructor trainer, please note that new instructor candidates taking an instructor course receive a supplement with their instructor's manual. They'll need to manually change out the pages. Looking ahead to fiscal year 2015, what do we hope to achieve and expect to change? We want to see 40% of our community classes taught by volunteer instructors, and an average of 9.5 students per class. In November, the Red Cross is set to release a new BLS, or Basic Life Support Curriculum, that will, that will replace our CPRO course. We plan to start offering this course in January 2015. After the BLS update, we're planning to update our blended learning courses to a new model called simulation learning. Instructors will be given the opportunity to take a course so that they will be familiar with the features and will be able to relate to students in class. This year, we're also planning to replace Saba LMS with a new system released by April 2015. And finally, we're planning to standardize nationwide the process for instructors to become instructor trainers. In August, we merged to a new service area, now called Sector 2. You can see on the screen all of the states that comprise Sector 2. A larger sector means greater sharing of resources between territories. We've added aquatic specialists to our service delivery team, as well as a master scheduler who will set up the schedules for each location. This will give our schedulers on our service delivery teams more time to focus on scheduling instructors for classes. Earlier, I mentioned that we moved to digital search in 2013. Digital certifications are now our standard means of providing proof of certification. Starting at the end of September, a student who calls training support and requests to be mailed a wallet card will be charged a $7.95 shipping and handling fee. Instructors and full service clients who need certification cards will not be charged. Be sure to remind students that they will receive an email with a link to their certification after class, and they can also access it online at no cost. Finally, a key performance indicator of success is the question on the CAT survey, how likely is it that you would recommend this American Red Cross training to a friend or colleague? In FY 2014, 78% of students said 9 or 10. That's great news. Thank you for your dedication and work in FY 14 to help us achieve another successful year in preparedness, health, and safety services. 
Thank you for attending this training. This is part of the September 2014 WebEx series. This is training one of three. The attendance code word is LOVE, L-O-V-E. Once you watch all of the video topics, putting each code word together will form a phrase that you can send to your training specialist for participation credit. And you'll also find out what you love. Thank you.